Z490, daisy chain problems. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I got a Maximus 12 Hero for my personal rig. I returned that motherboard. It's garbage. I couldn't deal with it. Couldn't do it anymore. Long story short, I had a i7-2600 for about 7 years. I upgraded to a 9900K because that was actually a upgrade that was more than double of what I already had. And when I bought my Z390 Master, I knew that it was um, T-Topology, which means it works best on four memory sticks, right? So, what I did was I bought a kit of Trident Z Royal 4000 C17, a, a kit of four, 32 gigabytes. What happens with Z490? It's daisy chain. Now all of a sudden, that investment that I put into that RAM doesn't work as well on Z490. The, so the best memory overclock that I could get on my Z390 AORS Master was 4133 C16, uh, 1.5 volts, and that was with all four sticks. Now with the Maximus Hero 12, all four sticks, the best that I could do was 4000 C16, at 1.51 uh, volts, um, D DRAM volts. Also took an extra 1.05 SA and 1.05 IO voltage just to be able to be stable at that. So by switching platforms from a 9900K to a 10900K, I actually lost 133 megahertz on my RAM just from switching from the T topology to the daisy chain. So I returned the motherboard. I was done with it. I couldn't deal with it anymore. I just even though the 10900K clocks faster, just something inside me couldn't. I just, I can't bear the thought of losing performance over a motherboard. So what are we doing today? We are working on this little thing on the test bench right now. Uh, Z490 ARS Master. So I got all, I got the Trident Z Royals in there running on stress tests right now, trying to see how far I can push this thing, but the reason I went with the Aorus, even though it has the 2.5 gigabit LAN, like the Intel one that's broken, they came out with the firmware update, and if you, if you install the NIC version 1.0.13 with the firmware update, and that seems to have fixed the, uh, the issues, so... I'm going to take a risk on that one. But the reason I went with the Aorus Master, even though it is Daisy Chain as well, oh, like the other two options were the Z490 Meg Ace from MSI or the Aorus Master from uh, Gigabyte. The reason I went with the Aorus Master was A, because the Z390 one had treated me so well. Uh, all my i9 builds were with the Aorus Master Z390. I loved that board. And the second reason being the Meg Ace doesn't have the iGPU phase. So that's kind of a deal breaker for me. I, I like having my iGPU phase. Also the fact that the stupid uh, Maximus 12 Hero, I needed a damn fan on the back of the motherboard. And I needed a fan on top of the RAM sticks just to keep them cool. Um, I don't know, man. Like, like... I think this motherboard is going to be a much better fit for me just because of the backplate and the complete overkill VRM. The board itself isn't going to be getting as hot, so I won't have to do all that rigmarole of fans to keep the shit cool, right? But all we're interested in today, can the four sticks that I got stuck with the Maximus Hero at 4000, will they work better on the ARS Master? Aorus or a Gigabyte advertises this motherboard as having a uh, shielded, what would you call it, shielded memory traces inside the PCB, so there shouldn't be as much interference. Uh, I, maybe, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. If I can just get back to 4133C16, I, I will literally go through every Z490 motherboard that there is until I get my 4133C16, because that sucks. I shouldn't have, to, I shouldn't be downgrading 
I shouldn't be downgrading RAM speeds by upgrading platforms. That's like the dumbest thing ever. And there are no uh, T topology Z390 boards, otherwise I would have bought that one. So if you're like me and you invested in Z390, you're stuck with shitty RAM speeds now in Z490. So I've been testing this for 20 minutes now. I got the... the RAM is just on XMP right now. It's on uh, 4000 C17. I just wanted to see if the XMP would work um, out of the box. SA and IO are 1.25, so that's fine. This pretty much is exactly the same as it was on Z390 as of right now. So next I'm going to try going up to 4133 C19 and see if it's stable. And then let's just see where this thing caps out at. And I really hope that it's not as garbage as the uh, the hero was. Because I, I just... Yeah, nah, man. Nah. Yup. There you go. Uh, 4133 C16. That took five seconds. I punched in the exact same numbers as the Z390 Aorus Master. Works fine. Check this out. Here, let me just move this thing over here. Forty-one thirty-three C sixteen stable for fifty-one minutes, and that took me five seconds to punch in. So, yeah, I don't know that. This this is the kind of thing that. This is let me let me just turn this off here. This is the kind of thing that makes makes someone a loyal customer to a brand like. The fact that I just punched in the same numbers and it just worked. So Gigabyte has my Intel um, loyalty forever now. But just because like, man, the, the two weeks that I dicked around with the Maximus 12 and this thing works in five seconds. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, whatever they did with their topology here, the shielding inside the PCB, it, it works. Even with Daisy Chain, it still works 4133. So I guess let's see if we can go even higher. I would be I would be thoroughly impressed if this actually ran faster than the T topology of Z3. But let, I mean, let's find out, right? Yeah, not a chance. I... Uh... Played with it for about an hour. I, I couldn't even post it in a, at a faster speed. I loosened the timings to shit. I couldn't get it. No, I even tried lowering the timings at 4133. Same thing. So, but you know what? I'm actually, I'm okay with that. I'm okay because I, I didn't lose RAM speed going from Z390 to Z490. So, like, I'll take my win there. I, Gigabyte... Congrats, man. Like, you, you got my business here. I... Oh, one, one other thing, though. One other observation. The Asus board was better at maintaining a, um, an overclock at a lower voltage. It's probably because the VRM runs at 1,000 kilohertz with the switching frequency. Um... It, to, but also, to be fair, this one is at 1.33. The Asus was at 1.32. I, I, I'll i take the 1 point, or the 0 0.01 millivolt hit to get my RAM speeds back. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, gigabyte. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good on you. Good on you. So, moral of this story. If you are coming from a platform that is daisy chain, or if you have four memory sticks, in my experience, get a Gigabyte Z490, because it seems to work much better than the Asus ones. MSI, I don't know. I haven't tested the board. Um, and the ASRock ones have garbage VRMs, from what I understand. From what I understand, you don't have to get the master. Um, Gigabyte uses the same shielded topology from the Master down to the Pro, I believe? I'm not sure. Like, all the Aorus ones use the same, um, uh, shielded topology there. So, you don't have to get a Master. Get, like, an Elite or something like that, and you'll just, you'll be totally fine. You don't have to get a Master. Um, yeah. But, it, but definitely, if you have four RAM sticks, you are getting a Z Gigabyte Z490. Because, yeah, it, it just works, man. It just works. That's also not to say that maybe the Asus board that I got was a lemon. 
That is possible. A sample size of one isn't uh, a good sample size, but the gigabyte board is also a sample size of one, and this one worked with five seconds. So, yeah, two weeks of BS versus five seconds. Uh, uh, yeah, I will recommend the Z490 gig gigabyte Z490 ones. Anyway. This was more of a rant video just because I just could not handle that Maximus 12 Apex anymore. It just ate away it just ate away my insides knowing that I couldn't get my RAM speed back. But um, yeah, here we go. She's good to go with four RAM sticks. And if you like the content, please subscribe. Hopefully today is the day I earned your subscription. Um, like, share, do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.